Radio Raheem here with Michael Spinks. Michael Spinks, uh, it's the first time we've spoken, and I would be remiss if I didn't tell you your place in my memory of boxing and really the beginning of my interest in the sport because the first fight that really uh, caught my attention as a very young person was Spinks Tyson. Now, now it may have not been the best night for you well, professionally the, okay. but it was a mega fight and uh, being as uh, you know, a baby essentially as I was recognizing all the uh, intensity around this single event and not really understanding what it was became the first moment that I realized that whatever was happening between these two guys in the ring somehow made the world that seemed to be the world around me stop for a brief moment and take notice and Regardless of what happened on that particular night, that's the kind of fighter you were. Mm -hmm. You made the world stop and take notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they know they, they remember me from the Olympics, and uh, I was a very good uh, light heavyweight champion, and uh, I know a lot of people were really expecting me to win. Yeah, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you were the odds-on favorite on the night, if not a very, very close underdog. but. What I'm more curious about is when did you realize, it was at the Olympics as a young fighter, that you had something special, that, that, that maybe you had something to cut above the rest? No, I remember when I, uh, I sparred with my brother Leon, and uh, I beat him for the first time. And that told me that I had improved in <laughs> boxing. Because Leon, my first time boxing Leon, I mean, he beat the, the holy crap out of me, and I was crying in the ring. And I was wondering why he was beating me so bad. And I said, I, I mean, I'm your, I'm your brother. You beat me like you don't know me. I thought he was supposed to take it, took, took, he was supposed to have taken it easy on me. But he said, later on he came to me, he said, hey, I, I was kind of hard on you, but you, if, I, if, I, if I wasn't, you would think everybody else was gonna take it easy on you. So I said, well, I don't know if he making an excuse or what, but I, I, took, I took his word for that. And, but, when I, but later on, years later, he was in the Marine Corps, he came home, we walked around, we went to a gym, and there was nobody in there. All the equipment was loose. And um, me and Leon, I said, Leon, come let's box. So, and I boxed him, he put the stuff over, he had timer, three minute timer, and uh, I beat him. Right. How long did that rivalry last? Most people who have brothers, siblings, anywhere close in age, kind of fight their whole lives, or at least compete, yeah. if not fight. Uh, throughout your career, was that was that something that was ongoing? Who's better? No, because no, I was th Leon was three years older than I am, and so uh, me and Leon were very good. We, we were very tight. Leon and myself were very tight. We very, very seldom fought. I used to I used to bully my brother. I bullied Leon, and he I think he took it easy on me, and I I, I didn't think I thought I was just I, I thought I was uh, really, he was really afraid of me, but he was taking it easy on me because I was his young silly young brother. So um, it um, turned out that uh, he, he was taking it easy on me, like I said, and. Uh, uh, he, he, spared, he spared me, he spared me. Was there a particular fight that stands out in your mind as the moment when you became boxing history, when you knew that, hey, whenever I step away from this game, the name Michael Spinks will always ring out in the sport? No, never. I, I never thought that way. I never thought that way. I was just in the ring. I was doing my best and trying to keep... Um, Keep everybody from anybody in there from, from beating me up. I didn't want to get beat up, and I I I, uh, I really got hooked on winning. I really got hooked on winning, and um, and every chance I had to win, I took advantage of that. What, what was it about winning? It seems like an odd question because who doesn't like to win? But at, when the stakes are that high and the stage and the spotlight is that bright, what is the most gratifying thing about being victorious in a boxing ring in particular? That you don't get hit that much. <laughs> you don't get hit that much. You, come, you, you go in the ring with a, a smooth face and come out the same way. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the two fights with Larry Holmes. Uh, would you consider that like a turning point in your career? Uh, how did oh, I, I was fighting for the heavyweight championship, so that was a big moment in my life. Yeah. 
What were you? What were your thoughts going into that fight? I mean, it's like the changing of the guard. The, the you know the young line, the new line. That's an old story in boxing, uh, and having an older brother following in his footsteps in a way. When you when you won the heavyweight championship, you bested an older fighter. You, you, you I felt like that would maybe be the moment you came into your own and, and obviously became part of boxing history on paper, no doubt. What did that feel like? Like how what? What did that bring up, not just in your life, but in your mind? Yeah, in my mind, what, you know, uh, winning or... or, or, or like heavyweight champion, like fighting for the heavyweight championship? Yeah, well, fighting for the champion. I mean, it, it was a big moment, and I didn't know how I, I, I would come out of that, you know, but I, I, I knew I was, going, I was going to give it my all. And I also, uh, I really didn't... Did, I, I had a little grudge against um, Larry because he beat my brother. So I, I didn't I didn't like I didn't like that <laughs> I didn't like that but I said well I, you a person anybody that fought Leon and myself they'll beat one of us but not both of us ah uh, and you know when I mentioned Tyson Spinks you still have a visceral reaction I, I mean obviously that, that's a big moment it's the last fight and when that fight was over were you concerned that with all that you've done in such an, in what was it, 93 seconds, that that might be what people remember? Like the only thing no, people well, remember? I, I didn't really, I, I didn't really care. I, I, I didn't care because it was, it was my hide in the ring and I was taking the punches and uh, it, it didn't matter what, what, what the public thought. And lastly, since you've hung up the gloves, uh, you come here, you get the kind of reception that you do. I think everybody considers you boxing royalty. What's life been like? What's been, what's, what's filled that gap? And how has it been uh, being a former champion and, and living your life as a boxing legend? Well, I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about it. it, it uh, I, don't, I don't look to, uh, for you no know, accolades, you know, outside the ring. I, I did my thing and uh, I'm proud of myself. And we're proud of you, man. And it's a proud moment for me to speak to you. I appreciate right. the time. Radio Raheem with Michael Spinks.